This year we are in a leap year, so we add on an extra day to the end of February. But why is that? Well, it's because of our solar cycle. It's not exactly 365 days worth to get one loop around the sun. It's a little extra than that, 365.24. So each year, if we were not to add a day, that would throw time off. There would be an unaccounted 5 hours, 48 minutes, and approximately 46 seconds of unaccounted time each year. So roughly every fourth year, we tack on an extra day at the end of February as we find ourselves in this month. You get an extra day. But how is it calculated? And using the Gregorian calendar, which most of us use across the globe, Leap years are not technically every four years. They are in years that are divisible by four, unless that year is also divisible by 100. So take for instance, 1900 was not a leap year, unless then that year is divisible by 400. For instance, 2000 was a leap year. Confused yet? Yes, so am I. But it goes back to the number of days and hours and seconds it takes to get one full rotation around the sun. It's not exactly a quarter. So there's just a little missing time there if you were to do it every four years. And that's where the 100 and 400 rules apply. Nonetheless, enjoy the extra day this month. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glacier.